Now, the blaze which raged for hours did not just destroy property. It shattered dreams, wiped out savings and left families uncertain about their future. Mogove Chigada was also part of the team capturing the heartbreaking stories of those affected. Uh, this is um, Mbari reduced to ashes. Traders here have lost property worth thousands of dollars and it will be difficult for them to recover from this. Knowledge Chaswaka in his 40s on the flea market here. He has been left shattered. So at what point did Knowledge discover the tragedy and what was his reaction? His misfortune represents one of many affected here. Hundreds of workers have lost their jobs overnight. Most of these traders say the next step will be to raise new capital and start from scratch. The real question, can these traders even begin to think insurance? The uptake of insurance by the informal sector has been very low, but we are in collaboration with the Ministry of uh, MSMEs and the Insurance Council of Zimbabwe, uh, training business development officers from the province and the districts under the Ministry of Women's Affairs so that they can understand the importance of insurance in risk mitigation to manage risks such as fire outbreaks. It's because risk sometimes it's inevitable and to manage that risk one should be able to have an insurance policy that can then trigger a, co a compensation in the event of the insured event occurring. In the middle of this dark hour, emotions have come out and the victims are putting the blame on firefighters. <laughs> It's been 12 hours since the fire broke out. It may be the end of that blazing fire, but the beginning of a tragedy, a period when the traders, the flea market owners, will start the road to recovery. For ZTN Prime, I'm Govech Gada in Bari, Harare. Now let us quickly look at some of the major fires that have been recorded in Harare in recent memory. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Bazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.